What's up guys? I know I've been talking a lot about how cool it is to grow herbs and different things because you can make cocktails, and today I'm gonna prove that to you. What we're gonna be making is called a Hemingway Margarita. It's one of my favorite cocktails. It's one of the best ways that I impress my friends when I'm having dinner parties. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is tequila, um, Luxardo Maraschino. Now this is fancy stuff. It's expensive, it's an investment, but we're only gonna use 0.25 ounces of that. So just keep it around. I highly recommend you always use fresh juices. Um, there's just so much better than what you can buy in the bottle at the store. We also need a couple other things that we're gonna have to head out into the garden to get, which is why I wanted to show you this, because one of the best things about making cocktails with your friends and going and getting it from the garden is that everyone's impressed all the time. So we also need to get some lemon and we also need to get some rosemary. A nice size sprig and then um, maybe we'll get a couple of smaller size ones for our garnish. And uh, now we need some lemons. Sneak peek of my backyard. You're gonna see that again soon in Zendustrial House Renovation part D. Looks like we don't even have to pick one because one of them fell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these little rosemary leaves off of the stem. And the easiest way to do that, if you just noticed, is you start from the top and you just go backwards. You squeeze your fingers and go backwards and they all just fall right off. Um, so I'm just going to pull those off and then I'm going to mix equal parts of water and sugar together in a saucepan and put it on medium low heat with all of this stuff in it. Now that is actually the uh, recipe for simple syrup in general um, without this rosemary, but you can put anything into a simple syrup and infuse it. Um, so any fun flavors that you think you have, especially herbs from your garden, can all be infused into the sugar that you're putting into your cocktail, which is the simple syrup. Um, and so definitely something fun to play around with. What's in your garden? Half a cup of sugar. Now this will depend on how many drinks you're planning on making. And a half a cup of water. And it goes in the pot. And let's turn that on. I'm gonna go medium low. You don't want this to burn. You just wanna allow the sugar to melt. Um, so I'm just going to stir it up, stir it up, little darling. But you didn't think you were going to get a musical concert too, right? There it is. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Give it a little squeeze, rough it up a little bit, and toss that in. There's really no rhyme or reason to the amount that you're using. Just, it's probably more than what I need, to be honest, but it won't hurt. We'll end up straining it out at the end, you'll see. Um, and we're just gonna let that kind of melt. Already I can see the sugar is kind of melting into the water. So let's just let that be for a little bit. And when we start really smelling that rosemary, we'll pop back over and check it out. I just have a little fine mesh sieve, and this is the easiest way to do this, but you can just spoon it out. There it is. Our simple syrup, smelling like rosemary. And I'm gonna pop this in the freezer so that it cools down. Okay, while that is cooling down, um, let's start putting all the rest of our ingredients into our shaker. Yeah, that's right, that's not a shaker, but um, it's what I use for a shaker because I can never find my shaker, and this works great. I just seal it up. Shaky, 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 and it's perfect. Or you can just leave it in there. You don't even have to strain it into a glass if you don't want to. Am I being too revealing? One and a half ounces of tequila. But I do have a very special camera lady here with me right now. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna double up this recipe. But it's one and a half ounces for one drink of tequila. And then, it is 0.25 ounces of the Luxardo Maraschino. There's a half ounce. I told you, it's barely anything. That's for two drinks. But it's, it's fancy. I like fancy things. All right, and it's going to be 0.75 ounces per drink 
That's one and a half for two, so 0.75. I'm probably confusing everybody, aren't I? Everyone's gonna end up making two of these, but that's not a problem, trust me, because even if no one else is there to help you drink it, you will want to drink both. We'll do a half an ounce of the lemon juice. So for me, that's a full ounce. One last ingredient to put in before we shake it up and that is our simple syrup. So I'm gonna go grab that from the freezer. It says 0.5 ounces per drink. Um, I usually go less with any sugar when I'm adding it to my cocktail because uh, recipes tend to run sweet um, and you can always add more later. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in here and we'll start there. We'll taste it and then we'll see how it goes. Every bartender has their own style of shaking, by the way. Um, I'm kind of like the traditionalist, like make my biceps look good. There we go, all right, I hope that's good enough. Um, and I'm gonna use, again, my fine mesh sieve, and I'm gonna strain this into glasses full of ice. Guys, full of ice. You should always fill your glasses to the top with ice before you add your cocktails. It just makes them better um, to have it nice and cold. And when you shake um, a cocktail with ice, a little bit of the ice breaks up and melts into the drink and actually balances it to have that added water. So more water is not bad in a cocktail. All right. And Dink. there we go. Uh, this drink is kind of named after Hemingway because apparently he liked something like this with grapefruit and rosemary. Um, but I think it was originally a daiquiri with mm -hmm. rum. Yummy. But I mean, yummy, but not as yummy as tequila. No. I'm not really a rum person. I've never really been a rum person. No. No. To birthdays and books mm -hmm. and not drinks books. with Hemingway. pale pink and green in them because that's a nice combo too. Yeah, you know, it's a very nice holiday cocktail as well. Mm -hmm. mm. I have so many good holiday cocktails. Mm. So many cocktails to come, guys. Oh, it's you, be continued. <laughs> <laughs>